Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, March 23rd here in the Los Angeles area. And today I'm going to be showing you the brassicas that we're growing. We're in the front yard where we have a mix of edibles and ornamentals. And one of the things that we're trying to do is grow our vegetables in such a manner that we don't have to go to the store for them. And that's by succession planting. And succession planting is a practice that has taken some time to develop and I'm happy to say that we haven't been able to or we haven't need to buy our vegetables from the market for a while now and the vegetables that we do buy are things like mushroom so um, succession planting is this idea that you have plants in various stages so that you don't just get one large harvest but rather you have uh, many harvests spread out that way you have variety and freshness so we have many types of brassicas out here and they're at different stages and we're looking at a couple of purple ones here this is a sprouting broccoli and the variety is burgundy you have these florets here and then they have these sprouts so this is one plant the other brassica here is this ruby perfection uh, cabbage and the other types of brassicas that we're going to see are going to be the broccoli and gailan hybrids. Um, the most common trademarked, registered trademark uh, of this vegetable that you may find at the market is called broccolini. And uh, there are many varieties. Uh, broccolini just happens to be a trademark. This one is one that uh, is new to me and I'm testing. It's called Happy Rich and it forms these thick stalks. And um, the nice thing about the broccoli gailan hybrid is that you can get all of the qualities of a gailan, which is very tender, crunchy stalks, and the leaves have this nice um, mustardy flavor that's sweet. Next to it, we have another broccoli. This is a purple broccoli called Miranda. It makes these beautiful uh, crowns. And while we're here, just a uh, a quick side we got some purple artichoke this is the uh, um ragmania artichoke and we're gonna move along and look at the other types of brassicas that we have so over here we have let's see sometimes i forget what we have this is this is probably a cauliflower of some sort so the tag's all the way in the bottom and it might take some time to, oh, here it is. This is a, a Romanesco cauliflower. Uh, this is the Punto Verde, and we harvested one pretty good size one already. Here is uh, another one of the burgundy sprouting broccoli. What's nice about this is we can harvest the large crown, and then it makes these side shoots that end up being sprouting broccoli, which is very similar to the broccoli gailan hybrid that we are growing here is another uh, broccoli this is the eastern magic and this is at a uh, younger stage and here's another this is going to be these are going to be our succession plants so once we harvest the broccoli these are going to be our next harvest this is happy rich um, so the gailan uh, broccoli hybrid i'm going to call those gailani uh, let's see, we have another one here. Let's see what it is. It looks like it's gonna be a cauliflower. And this is another one of the Happy Rich. So with the Happy Rich, I noticed that they're very thick stock and the, the buds are pretty big. So this is the main crown here. And what we wanna do is we want to remove this main crown so that it can start sending ener directing energy to grow the side shoots that we're after. This is another. Uh, this is another one. This is another happy rich over here, and we have more this way. This is the Eastern Magic. So this is one of the varieties that we're testing for the different parts of the year. So this is, I think, a good one to grow during uh, the spring and early summer of Southern California. And in the summertime, we're going to be growing Monty, and you'll see a Monty uh, broccoli in a second. Over here we have, these are the gailan, and this one is called early green, and I accidentally 
um, or I didn't get around to harvesting it, so it started to bolt and it, they made these really nice long stocked um, shoots and these are actually pretty good. So with the early green, we're gonna be growing them, letting them bolt a little bit and collecting the, the stems. Whereas another variety, we want them short and we want the leaves. So let's see if we can find one of those as an example. We've been eating a lot of them already, so I guess we've harvested a good amount of the gylon. We're gonna come in this way and we have some more. Um, this is the Asperbrock. It's a, another type of um, Gailani. This is a very good one. Uh, this this here is not a very good example. Where it's planted, I didn't. Uh, it, it's not happy, so it's not big, and uh, the stalks aren't thick. But these are uh, harvestable as well. And the the key is to always harvest the shoots as they are ready, so that they can make more. Otherwise, they'll just stop and make seed at this point. Let's see here. We got another one. This is a Monty, and. Um, and the florets are swelling up. So they, these are already pretty mature. And uh, this is a good one for the summer because once you harvest, uh, what I found was that once you harvest the main crown, it'll continue to make these side shoots. And when you collect them all together, you get a pretty good amount. Um, one of the things about this video is that I saved all these uh, brassicas so that you can see them but normally we we would have harvested them by now uh, this we would have had um, I would say four fewer crowns for you to see because I would have harvested for each night so I've been delaying um, the harvest so that I can finally get out here and show you uh, visually what it looks like to have succession planting here's another one that's coming in here's a broccoli uh, let me see what variety this is let's pull the tag all right let's see this is an Eastern magic. So one of the things about broccoli is uh, you can tell how big it can get by by the initial crown. If those buds are really small still, they're like micro size, and it's at this size, that means it has the potential to grow into a pretty big crown. And there's one more out here before we leave this area. And that is probably an, an Asper Brock. So let me see. No, that's another Eastern magic right there. Okay, so let's um, let's head on to the back where we have more things growing. Um, I got another artichoke over here. Let's come down our trail here. Head to the back. Uh, I have this broccoli planted, and I hope it's going to be okay and not too stressed because it got dug out by a skunk one night, and I planted it back. So the key with um, these these heading brassicas like cauliflower and broccoli you really have to tend to them and make sure they're happy and once they're transplanted make sure that they're happy otherwise what will happen is they will get stressed and you'll have aphids on them um, and aphids are really hard to clean off the brassicas if not impossible so we end up not eating it because we get psyched out by aphids on it um, and the other key is to and that's one key is to make sure the plants are super happy that way you don't have to deal with spraying the plants or coming up with ways to protect the plants from getting aphids on them like putting uh, pantyhose and the like so if you find that you're getting aphids that means the plant was stressed out at some point and it's best to try to figure out what caused it so that you can prevent it from happening on future plants rather than having to uh, continue fighting the pests so here's a here's this Eastern Magic, and it's way past harvest, but it does look good on camera as, as far as how big it is. And what I'm finding is that the Eastern Magic also makes side shoots, so we're we're um, happy about that. We'll see how how it does. So it's a pretty big crown, and it's pan underneath, so you may see if there are aphids under there or not. There, and then um, we have. This is a Chinese cabbage. The most common type is called Napa. And we got a, we're early, we're out here in the morning actually before 8 a.m. and there's a slug. So that explains all the holes on here. Uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, holes on the cabbage and I've yet to harvest a nice green one. We got, we got nice ones from the purple variety called Merlot. And these other plants here are succession plants. 
We have, this one is uh, a toy san. This is a sprouting or loose cauliflower. So we'll look at it in a second. Then we have another cauliflower right there. And then um, one more succession plant down there. All right, let's, let's go and head down and I'll show you one more plant. Um, and it's in the greenhouse. Yeah, we're growing a, a cauliflower in the greenhouse. Um, that's an experiment because the, the loose or sprouting cauliflower, they tend to like warmer weather. So we're just going to experiment and see uh, how it does in the greenhouse and it's doing quite well. All right, before we head there, let me show you another example of succession planting. Here are our next round of um, brassicas. Um, we planted an early snowball just to see how it would do, but I think it's probably gonna be too warm. But these other ones can handle the warmer uh, parts of the Los Angeles uh, year. Uh, Eastern Magic, that's one we're testing to see how it'll do in the warm months. Uh, Monty's proven, uh, Toyson is proven, and uh, Fiorello 70. Fiorello 70 is a, a loose cauliflower, and we got a really nice big harvest um, already. And I, I'm sorry I don't have a, a picture for you to show show you. I'm just doing a quick cell phone to YouTube upload today. This here is our uh, next round of the brassicas again. You have the Fiorello 70, Monty's right here. Uh, this one is probably going to be, um, this one's Eastern Magic, and we got Happy Rich, and then Asper Brock. So, yeah, so those are the ones. And let's go in the greenhouse and show you what we have in there. We got the screen to keep the chickens and the ducks from going in here. And this is a little bit of a jungle. Here's our toy son sprouting broccoli. This is a, uh, the sprouting broccolis are nice. They, they have uh, this nutty flavor. They're sweet. They're actually pretty sweet when you stir fry them up. And let's see if we can pan down here and look at it. Uh, so it's got these nice structural parts to it. As the plant sprouts, it's got these stems. And these seeds were actually shared by a neighbor. And I don't know if you caught the story, but she tossed them over the fence one day and I was very confused. And one day she introduced herself and asked if I received them. So these are Toysan cauliflower. This is the the cauliflower that that probably developed into many of the different varieties that are gaining popularity like the Fiorello 70. So I think that's pretty much it for our brassicas and how succession planting looks. If you're uh, doing this type of growing, just bear in mind that it can take some time for you to develop and get into what works for yourself and your area. For me, I, I, I would say it took um, at least three years to do so. But that time comes and goes pretty quickly. Keep at it. And uh, at some point, you'll, you'll get yourself into that groove and you'll be able to have fresh produce on the regular. All right, that's going to be it today. Thanks for coming out and seeing what we're up to and how our garden's growing. And we'll see you in the next video.